NASA's demand for a spaceship carrying human beings into space has private companies scrambling. One America's Matthew Black has more on NASA's efforts and the Trump administration's push to lead space exploration. It was supposed to be a test mission for Boeing Starliner spacecraft, but now in terms of reaching the deep beyond, space is limited. NASA announces it will use the Starliner space vehicle's test missions to perform actual missions in response to the fact that NASA astronauts cannot book a flight into space after autumn 2019 due to their heavy reliance on Russian Soyuz space capsules. July 21, 2011, almost eight years ago, was the last time NASA sent an astronaut into space. Prior to that date, NASA used six different space shuttles to ferry astronauts and payload beyond Earth's atmosphere. We took seven people and up to 50,000 pounds of payload and thought maybe it's better, safer, uh, more reliable if you separate the payload from the people and take the payload up and then take the people up in a smaller, simpler vehicle. And now, Boeing Starliner is reaching operational status just in time because since 2011, the U.S. has relied primarily on Russia's Soyuz capsules to deliver American astronauts into space and to the International Space Station. Boeing and SpaceX have taken up the challenge of creating a spacecraft capable of delivering astronauts into space, so the U.S. does not have to rely on Russian space vehicles. Upon seeing SpaceX's cargo version of their Dragon spacecraft, astronauts were impressed. I spent quite a bit of time poking around in here this morning just looking at the engineering and the layout and I'm very pleased. It's, it looks like it carries about as much cargo as I could put in my pickup truck and it's uh, roomier than a Soyuz so flying up in a, a human rated Dragon is uh, not going to be an issue. The Starliner and Dragon capsules are currently testing their re-entry parachute system but the Trump administration is accelerating efforts in keeping with its pledge to lead the way in the new frontier. Over 25 years, and uh, we're opening up, and we are going to be leading again like we've never led before. We're a nation of pioneers, and the next great American frontier is space. We have tremendous spirit, and we're going to have tremendous spirit from the private sector, maybe in particular from the private sector. The private sector may be NASA's last, perhaps only, hope, with their current reliance on Russian vehicles carrying Americans into space expect future test flights to become actual missions. Matthew Black, One America News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call today.